what is up guys how is everybody doing i am tiff welcome back to my channel if <laughs> i was just gonna say uh i was gonna announce if y'all want me to go live tonight y'all yeah the intro's a little different if y'all want me to go live tonight i was thinking about going live doing a live reading like an, and then after the live reading doing um like some some readings maybe you know like some personal readings i don't know i don't know y'all know that my subscription i do gotta let you guys know that i have started the subscription process for um to join the channel now this 4.99 a month i don't know i didn't know how to do it so that's like just like the donation if you'd like to donate to the channel but for 9.99 a month you will have access to the zodiac readings to uh, um every month you will have access to my lives every month where i will go on and do free readings for members to whoever i'm drawn to that'll be once one to two times a week i'll be doing that just for fun that's members only uh exclusive members access to my zodiac readings and exclusive access to the extendeds i'm not going to do patreon i'm not going to do any extra outward links for extendeds i'm just going to upload my extendeds for my members and that's the only place you can find them it'll be eight extendeds a month at the least which is a 60 dollars value and um it's only going to be $9.99 a month. So, August 1st, this is my birthday month. By the way, my birthday is Wednesday, y'all. Make sure y'all tell me happy birthday, because I am going to be here on my birthday, too. It's just, it's Wednesday. It's a fucking hump day. Hopefully, I get some humps, okay? That's all I got to say. Let's get right into this, spirit, ancestors, and guides. Let's see what is going on. So, anywho, so... Uh, what I was channeling is the song Heartbreaker, you got the best of me But I just keep on coming back incessantly Oh, why did you have to... I don't know, I don't know But okay, uh, this is what I'm channeling I, hadn't, I didn't even listen to it, I just was channeling it As I started shuffling the pre-shuffle, okay Have to... So I'm feeling like, you know, somebody's living, and I don't know why, because with Mariah Carey popping up, I'm just feeling like somebody's like, deep, deep fantasy, baby, when I close my eyes, you, I feel like somebody kind of is living in a fantasy world, and I just got to be honest about this, because I feel like somebody here that you're dealing with is a heartbreaker, right? Heartbreaker, you got the best of me. And this person does got the best of somebody because somebody's in love with the, this person, right? And in somebody's head, they know that this, they see the best in this person. They know that this person is a really, really good, true person deep down. But yet they have so many issues and, and they, they fuck up their own life. And in that in turn, it, it, it hurts you, right? But in that fantasy land, you know, in your head, and I'm not saying it's just a fantasy, okay? But I'm saying, like, you see the best in this person, even through some turmoils and heartache. Because heartbreaker, you got the best of me. But I just keep on coming back excessively, or whatever it is. She says, did you have to run your game on me? I should have known you would go and break my heart okay so somebody was like like why'd you have to go and run your game on me mm. but i feel like now where the fantasy comes up i feel like this person okay this heartbreaker they kind of live in this fucking fantasy world you know like i feel like they think that they're way more the shit than what they truly are i feel like this ego is way further expanded than what it truly is this person thinks they're way sexier than what they are they think they're way like this person could dress like gucci down but motherfucker that's your only gucci outfit you'd have to wear it yeah confirmation you'd have to wear it five days a week if you wanted to <laughs> to have an outfit you know what i'm saying uh drive around and sister mom baby mama car but it's a badass car so they stunt in it you see what i'm saying this person is one of those people that feel like they got a lot because maybe they have like family around them that take care of them make sure they straight let them whatever it is but this person's ego is way more blown up than what they really the fuck are okay this person's like their little their little head like this but their head like is expanded and i think this is why they go and fuck with multiple people break hearts leave these 
these hearts broken in their past this is what has expanded their ego like they they might have some really good dick but nothing else going for them let's just be real okay okay and us women we love good dick let's just be honest okay <laughs> so goddamn all right so they could go around you know fucking with these women's and then leaving them behind and then this feeds their ego because they have a lot of people chasing them or wanting them or so now they think they're handsomer than what they are they think they got their money together more than what they are they stunt this is a stunner okay definitely a stunner energy What is going on with this person? Spirit, ancestors, and guides. They miss you badly. Don't be fooled. They are grieving in your absence, okay? So, yeah, you're over here like heartbreak. You got the best of me. But they're over here, and you thinking they're moving on. But Spirit is saying, don't be over here in your feelings about shit because this person is missing the fuck out you. They are grieving your absence. They are missing you. But they're covering up by maybe fucking with other people, acting like they don't give a damn, okay? Spirit is saying, don't be fooled. This person, they might think that there's shit on the outside, but on the inside, this is just a very insecure little old person, okay? That got to stunt and pretend like something they not, okay? So let's just be real. And this person on the inside is crying out for you, okay? You can hear their heart. Crying out for you. Hey, hey can, come on in, come on in, come on in and save me. Oh, okay. They want you to come on in and save this. But it ain't your job to save this. And I'm sorry, y'all. If y'all are new here or if you ain't, I channel energy through music. I'm sorry if you, you know, if that's not your thing, I'm sorry. But that's that's where a lot of my intuition comes from. Come on in, come on in, come on in and save me. Not your motherfucking job to save this. Oh my gosh, spirit come through. You see what I'm saying? Y'all don't ever doubt a bitch like me. Waiting to be saved. I cannot make this shit up. I'm shaking. Spirit, I love you guys. Y'all are the shit. I just want to let my spirit guides know. And I literally, I just said I channel my energy through music. I'm sorry. Come on in, come on in, come on in and save me. And then look, waiting to be saved, y'all. <laughs> Woo. And it says, can't expect some outer source to make things happen for you. And I feel like that's them, though. They are waiting on you to come in and save this relationship. They over here heartbroken. They can hear your heart crying out for them. But they want somebody to, they want you to come on in and save this shit. No, no, no. And I literally just was saying, that ain't your job to save this. Waiting to be saved. Motherfucker, sit down. It's your job to take them first steps. They're waiting on some other outer source to fix this connection. No, 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 nobody. It's not no outer source's job, and it's damn sure not my collective's job. Not this time. No, sir. What else popped out? Because that shit was crazy. Yeah, trust in the, you know, the unknown. There's reasons why your angels are not revealing everything. So you could be trying to figure out what this person has going on or who they're fucking with. Or you could be feeling like there's something very deep that's being hidden from you at this time that you could be trying to figure out. Okay. Spirit is saying that they really need you to just trust right now. Because some things, you know, even though everything that's done in the dark does come to the light, some things are better off unknown. You know what I'm saying? Some things are better left unsaid. Some things ain't none of your motherfucking business is what my spirit guide said. And I'm sorry to put it out there like that, okay? But my spirit guide was just like, you know, some things ain't your motherfucking business. You know, some things ain't got shit to do with you. And I feel like, and I don't want you to take that in a way like it as being like harsh or talking shit to you because I love you guys, okay? But I just, you know, it's like some things are just none of your business and, and ain't got nothing to do with you and just spirit, you know, that's for your person to deal with and that's their karma to go through. And that's why it's like spirits like, nah, that ain't, that's not your karma. That's not your motherfucking, you know, that's, that's not your, your shit show to deal with, right? No, 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 no. That's theirs. And that's why spirit is saying like, yeah, you might be trying to figure out some shit, but we ain't gonna let you know. You, you don't we don't want you to be in no parts of this okay so yeah there's definitely reasons but spirit does want you to know that the healing has begun in this situation 
okay? And remember, this is rarely an overnight journey. Um, this is always going to take time. It's going to be difficult, okay? But Spirit is saying that, you know, the healing has begun. The steps have been taken. This person is definitely starting to open up because of how, how much they fucking miss you. It's just this person does have an ego and an, and an inflated head. And so they don't want to come through first and make the first step. So they're like waiting on you. But I don't feel like, you know, they're going to have to make those first steps. Yeah, because they tainted this true love, right? This love, true love isn't easy, but it must be fought for. And that's it, you know, tainted, they tainted this beautiful true love between the two of you guys. And so it's like now, it's not your job to fight anymore. You fought, you fought for this connection. You've done your part. And Spirit is like, nah, boo, we, we want you to trust in this unknown and just do you. Because it's their job to fight for this. They know this is a true love. And this is what they need to learn. That if they don't fight for this, they're going to lose their true love. And they're going to be sitting back missing you badly, right? And so that's why this healing has begun for the two of you guys. It says, remember, this is rarely an overnight journey. They're not just going to over night be like oop I've changed you know but this part it's begun and it and it's the starting stages and it's beautiful let me get the charger y'all because my phone acting like it wants to die out y'all forgive me for this forgive me but I gotta plug it up my sister's phone, when it when she uh, she needs charge, it says, where's the plug, bitch? <laughs> I'm like, what did your phone just say? Okay, yeah, because I was literally on one percent -y. Okay, perfect. Okay. Let's see. Spirit, ancestors, and guides. What are we going to go for now? Yeah, they're the ones that fucked this up. It's not your job to fight for this connection. It's their job to fight for this connection. Let's see. Wow, we got that four of wands that just fell to the floor. So much to celebrate. Send gratitude to the divine and the angels for the peace and the prosperity that's coming to, to you. Peace and contentment in your personal life. Um, so this is a time for you to really, with this healing that's begun, we all know that that four of wands, that's that 1111. That's that twin flame, soulmate bliss happiness card right and spirit is letting you know that there's so much for you to celebrate don't be getting down don't be getting sad it seems hard now but man you got so much that you're about to celebrate four of wands is contentment at home happiness at home but this is also spirit wanting you to send gratitude to them and your angels for the peace and this prosperity that they have coming to you after a very tumultuous time, after a time of having yourself. We always talk about the masculine or the counterpart that has to surrender, but you yourself having to surrender, right? It's tough. It's difficult. People don't realize that the, this collective, us divine femmes, um, and, and gender doesn't matter. You know, we've, we've had to surrender many times. That's that that counterpart, that that weaker counterpart, that lower vibrational counterpart only has to surrender that one time and they'll get it. You know what I'm saying? But because of their bullshit, you find the more spiritually enlightened one, let's put it that way, um, <coughs> having to surrender so much more and doing so much more shadow work and elevating. It's crazy, okay? So we have peace and contentment that's coming in your personal life, okay? And a lot for you to celebrate. What else, Spirit? What else, Universe? So we have the moon and this is once again you you be heavily with it saying trust in the unknown there you being really suspicious about something okay don't be suspicious don't be suspicious that's what i just heard heard from my spirit guys okay don't be suspicious don't be suspicious and if you are being suspicious wondering that's once again coming in trusting this unknown some things ain't meant for you because we have the moon coming out so there is some secrets there is something being hidden uh but something is also being revealed 
but you're going to want to know more. I feel like you will get the reveal or the answer that you're looking for, but you will want to know more. The spirit is saying, don't go digging, okay? It says, listen to your intuition and pay attention to signs from the divine. Unnecessary worry. Let go of your fears. You see what I'm saying? Revelations will make everything clear. Okay, so there's going to be some revelations that are going to make everything clear for you here. But you're unnecessarily worrying. You have anxieties and fears unnecessarily that needs to be let go of. Your intuition is guiding you. You need to trust in that. And trust in the process. Trust that all will be revealed. But don't go digging. I feel like with this King of Swords coming up, you know, the King of Swords does know how to play a lot of mind games, okay? They really tried, they're very, very smart, very, very intelligent, okay? Um, this person, though, can be cold at times, okay, and, and closed off with their emotions. And this is just them hiding their emotions, okay? Um, but this says intelligent, impartial, respected, stoic. Receiving wise advice. So whoever you're dealing with could be getting some really wise advice from other people about how to move forward because this heartbreaker, they've done a lot of fucking up in the past. So I feel like there is somebody in their energy that's a good friend, that's more wiser, that um, has this person's best interest at heart. And they're fi they're really trying to give them some good advice, some wise advice. Like, it's time to grow up. It's time to be, you know, to take charge of your responsibilities. It's, you know, and somebody's really trying to put that in this person's head. Spirit really wants you to remain objective and fair-minded when it comes to this situation. All right? And to communicate very, very clearly here. Um... This is definitely going to be a part of the healing process. It says unemotional relationships are being emotionally unavailable. So this could be the problem. Like this person could be very, very being unemotional, emotionally unavailable right now. Or coming off as like not interested or not emotionally invested in the connection. And so you could be trying to figure out why they're acting like this, okay? It's, I feel like this is just like a move on this person's part, but whatever the reason why that they're acting like that will be revealed. And it's going to bring this peace and contentment into this connection. The healing has begun. This person misses you, but you definitely just are going to have to try. That scared the shit out of me, man. My door just popping open. Um, you're definitely just going to have to trust in the process here. Okay. All right, that's what I have for you guys. If that resonates at all, comment below. Let me know. Until next time, loves. Peace.